Welcome to the Love and Lattes podcast, a coffee lover's guide to good vibes, books, rom-coms, and everything in between. Now grab some coffee and let's get chatting. Hey everyone, it's Betsy from Love and Lattes podcast, and today I'm going to be previewing episode two of season 11 of When Calls the Heart. This episode will air Sunday, April 24th, so don't forget to record it if you cannot watch it live. Before we get to the preview, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can like and comment on this video if you want to share your thoughts on the season 11 premiere and maybe predictions on what you think might happen in episode two, but let's go ahead and get to the preview. Episode two is titled, Tomorrow Never Knows. So the description for this is super duper short. It says, Elizabeth and Allie plan a birthday party for Nathan. Lee and Rosemary weigh business responsibilities against family time. And Lucas settles into his role as governor. Okay, so let's see. We have a birthday party being planned for Nathan. I saw in the preview that Hallmark put up that I guess Nathan's like expecting a surprise party and then they didn't have something planned. So now they're kind of scrambling to plan a party for him and it looks like it should be pretty humorous and then they did a sneak peek showing elizabeth and little jack creating like a birthday card and a banner for nathan's party and on little jack's card it kind of showed little jack elizabeth Allie, and nathan all holding hands kind of as one happy family and elizabeth definitely took note of this so it's what i think is a precursor of what is to come but we'll see. And then uh, Lee and Rosemary weigh business responsibilities against family time. So I'm guessing they are busy with their job, Lee with the lumber business, and then just the newspaper in general, and they're not getting to spend as much time together with Goldie, which of course they want to spend time with her. These are like the pivotal years getting to see her grow up. So I'm sure they will figure something out as they always do. Raise your hand if Rosemary is your favorite character. She is so much fun. I think she just makes the show. Pascal is the best actress and such a joy to watch. <laughs> Why don't you just comment who your favorite character is? I'm just curious. There's so many amazing characters to make up the show. Everyone brings their own special unique quality. So yeah, comment below if you have a favorite character. <laughs> and then finally, it says that Lucas settles into his role as governor. So I'm curious if he will be returning to Hope Valley at all this season. That will be interesting to see. Will he just stay in either Capital City or Union City, that is a question that might be answered this episode. I have a feeling that he may not be in Hope Valley much, but we'll see. So that's kind of that's kind of all I have as far as a preview. Um, I'm sure it will be a great episode, and I hope you all tune in and enjoy it. Thank you so much for listening to the show. If you want to listen to other interviews with One Calls the Heart actors and the co-creator, Brian Bird, go to the link in the description of this video. They're all listed there. But I hope you have a great rest of your day and thank you for listening to the podcast. Bye. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can be notified of all the new episodes. I truly appreciate your support. Thank you so much for listening to the Love and Lattes podcast. Have a great day.